to another episode of Whether or Not. I'm your host, Mr. Squeegee, and as always, this is being brought to you on behalf of windowcleaningresource.com. Our suggestion uh, today is from uh, Larry Lasko out in California. Hey, Larry. Uh, Larry suggested we do one on uh, winter winterizing or what we do in the winter with our uh, our water-fed pole equipment. Uh, since we recently invested in the uh, R3 from Reach Higher Ground, uh, when it got to be colder temperature, we made sure we were bringing it in out of the van every night so it wouldn't freeze overnight, you know, that uh, possible damage. But uh, once the weather set in, uh, we have uh, an entry way here that uh, we can close off and, and we have a small oil-filled radiator that we leave plugged in here. It keeps the temperature nice and, and even for us. And we just stick it away in this closet along with our uh, backpack. Uh, so we can keep all that. One of the things to do is uh, you can hook the compressor up to your your uh, RODI machine and run air through there to blow all the water out. Uh, there are drawbacks to doing that. You don't want your uh, your RO membrane to dry out through the winter time. Uh, so you may want to pull that out and put it in a, a plastic bag and leave a little moisture in there so it doesn't dry out. Uh, other things you can do is just leave the water in there but that could lead to breeding other things. So uh, you want to check with the manufacturers because I'm sure they all have different suggestions as to how to store the RO uh, DI machine. Uh, we just put ours away. Uh, if you don't have a warmer area like this, maybe you've got an unheated garage and you still like to be able to get it uh, protected, uh, you could build uh, out of the foam block insulation. Uh, it comes in big sheets, uh, inch, two inch. Uh, you could actually build a little shelter, uh, make it about twice as deep as your machine, put your machine towards the back of it, and use one of those oil-filled radiators at the, at the open front of it with a little top on it. And that way all the heat from that will go right back into the machine, and you can keep that little area heated and warm uh, all winter long that way. So uh, just check on it periodically make sure everything's good. Uh, the last thing you need to do is crack a few houses because that can be almost as much as the machine to replace. So. Uh, just be aware of that. So those are a couple of things that we do, uh, making sure we've emptied out the water, store it in a warm place, or make a warm place to store it in. Uh, same goes for power washers. If you can't store them in a warm place, again, hook up an air compressor, blow those lines clear uh, so that uh, that they're, they're not going to have a water freeze in there. Something else you can do to protect your pump on your uh, water pressure or your pressure washers is to uh, put a little uh, uh, RV antifreeze. Uh, it's usually pink fluid. You can run a little bit of that into the pump and that should uh, protect it to pretty cold temperatures. So just a couple suggestions. Uh, thanks Larry again for the suggestion on uh, winterizing and protecting your major investments through the winter time. So for another episode of Weather or Not, I'm your host Mr. Screechy. On behalf of Window Cleaning Resource, I want to thank you.